Hello viewers, welcome to Elimu TV, a station where you watch and learn. I am your tutor, Sarah Maiva. Today I'm taking you through CRE Form 2, Lesson 16. Our topic is the Galilean Ministry, and our subtopic is Je Jesus Faces Opposition. Welcome. So we start with the what our lesson objectives. By the end of the lesson, learners should be able to one, explain why Jesus faced opposition from the Pharisees, the Sadducees, and the scribes. So, Jesus' ministry is consisted of teaching, healing, and doing many miracles. Because of this work, Jesus faced opposition from the Pharisees, the Sadducees, and the scribes. So we look at the reasons why Jesus faced opposition. One reason is because Jesus was becoming more famous. So Jesus was becoming more famous than the religious leaders. So they were jealous and that's why Jesus, they were opposing Jesus. Jesus claimed to forgive sins. And they only believe that only God can forgive sins. So they opposed Jesus because he claimed to forgive sins. Jesus associated with tax collectors and sinners. For example, he dined with Levi the tax collector. So they, fe they felt that Jesus was doing wrong and they opposed him because of associating with the tax collectors and the sinners. Jesus' failure to observe the law of fasting. So Jesus' disciples did not fast like the disciples of the Pharisees and the, that of, and those of John the Baptist. So they felt that Jesus was failing to observe the law of fasting. Doing what religious leaders regarded as unlawful on the Sabbath day. For example, eating on Sabbath day with unwashed hands. They felt that it was unlawful doing that on the Sabbath day. Also, plucking corn on the Sabbath day. Hmm? Healing on the Sabbath day. Touching the unclean, associating the tax collectors. They felt these were all unlawful, especially on the Sabbath day. That's why Jesus faced opposition. So those are some of the reasons why Jesus faced opposition from the Jew Jewish, that's the Pharisees, the, tax the Sadducees, and the scribes. So we look at these Pharisees. Who are these Pharisees? What characteristics do they have? Hmm? They referred to themselves as the separated ones. What characteristics do these Pharisees have. So one is that they believe in the law of Moses and they also accepted the first five books of the Bible as God ins inspired. Another characteristic of the Pharisees is that they upheld and insisted on the observance of the oral tradition of the elders. They also believe in the teaching of prophets and other writings of the old Testaments. The Pharisees also believed in the existence of angels. They believed in the existence of angels. They also believed in and waited for the Messiah of God to come. They believed and waited for the Messiah of God to come. They also believed in the existence of demons and Satan. They also believed in the resurrection of the dead. The Pharisees also believed in the judgment of God and they were strong nationalists and political leaders who resisted all foreign influence and power. We also have the scribes. The word scribes means a writer. The work of the scribe was to rewrite by hand. Mm -hmm. And also we have the Sadducees. These were the wealthy people. They were an influential group. 
They believe in the divine authority of the law of Moses and the Pentateuch and the Pentateuch first five books of the Bible. They also believe that Moses wrote the first five books of the Bible. They regarded all other books in the Old Testament as not divinely inspired. Hence, they rejected them. So, those were that's all about the Jewish opposers, the Pharisees, the Sadducees, and the scribes. So we have come to the end of our lesson, and we have an activity. Question one, explain the reason why Jesus faced opposition. Question two, state the characteristics of the Pharisees. For our references, you can refer to Secondary Christian Religious Education, Student Book 2. KLB that edition. For this and more, you may contact us through our SMS number, which is on the screen. You may also find us on YouTube, Elimu TV, on Facebook, Elimu TV, and on Twitter at Elimu TV underscore KE. Thank you for joining us. See you next time.